Hello and welcome. This video is going to be about P factor. Those who are from aviation, may manned aviation or unmanned, must have heard this word at some point of your journey. So, what a P factor is? A P factor is also known as asymmetric blade effect or asymmetric disc effect which is an aerodynamic phenomenon experienced by a moving propeller. P factor is all to do with asymmetric propeller loading. It's where the propeller creates more pull or lift on one side which causes the airplane to yaw. For example, in single engine propeller aircraft with clockwise rotating propeller like Cessna 172 during climb phase after takeoff or during flight conditions with high power and high angle of attack, it has tendency to yaw to the left. This is because when viewed from the cockpit, the downgoing propeller blade experiences a greater angle of attack than upgoing blade, which experiences a lower angle of attack. Hence, the side of the propeller blade, in this case, the right side produces slightly more thrust than the left blade and hence the airplane yaws to the left. If this theory flew above your head, then let me explain in a better way with my retired radio controlled aircraft. This was made by my brother who is an A320 pilot now. We named it Cedar because we used it to drop seeds during rainy seasons over barren lands. Cedar is 6 years old, so its paint has faded. Anyways, disregard for being nostalgic, back to the P factor. So, I have kept aircraft to simulate straight and level condition of flight. I am using a scale and vernier calipers to check how big a bite of air the propeller takes. We would assume the relative airflow and ideal conditions like there are no slippage or errors. I have kept the scale behind the right blade of the propeller first and I am measuring the bite of the propeller. It came to be around 1.5 cm on that part of propeller. Now I am repeating the same process on the left blade. And Of course, as the plane is kept straight and level, so the bite of left blade has to be same as the right blade. Thus producing equal amount of thrust on both sides of the propeller hub in straight and level flight. Now, to simulate high angle of attack of the airplane, I would lift up the nose a bit and again repeat the process of measuring bite in same way. But this time, the bite of right blade has increased to 2 cm. Now let's check that of left blade. Okay, so the bite of the air which left blade would take has reduced to 1 cm only. Now you just have to put simple logic in it. That when the right blade goes down while climbing or during high angle of attacks with high power, the thrust produced by the right blade is more. More air is propelled by right blade and the angle of attack of right blade would be more. And when the left blade come up, the thrust produced is less as less air is propelled by the left blade and angle of attack of left blade is less. And this causes the well known but less understood term asymmetric blade effect or P factor which to most pilots is the most mysterious of the left yawing forces acting on the airplane. Keep in mind that angle of attack is angle between chord line and relative airflow and the blade angle is the angle between chord line and plane of rotation. And P factor should not be confused with the slipstream effect or torque effect. I would try to make separate videos for their better explanations and to explain other effects on rotating propeller. Next video is going to be about critical engine and my main purpose to make this video was to explain P factor first so that critical engine and other topics would become much much more easy to understand in next videos. Making these videos an animation takes hours and even days of restless work. 3D modeling, animation, video editing is such a relentless work. 
I'm not asking much, but it would be great if you leave a thumbs up, comment, and share the video. And if you haven't already, then subscribe my channel too. Your feedbacks and your support really keeps me motivated to keep on making these videos. Thank you so much. Till then, take care. Stay safe.